and then we we are back in the funnel builder overview so we want to choose order form because that's where we can add our products and then click on product on the top right and here you see we don't have any products yet so what we want to do is we want to click on add product and then the first thing you have to do is um, choose the integration that you want to use to collect payments with so we have just added stripe so we can select stripe right here then the second step is to choose what kind of payment you want to ask for. So is it a subscription? Is the payment plan? Is the one-time payment? So for this example, as I'm selling like a course, let's say it is a one-time payment. Then um, click on save and next on the bottom right. And then on the second step, you can give your product a name. So let's name this YouTube Masterclass. Um, you can also, obviously you need to give it a price. So let's say this is $199 and um, then you have to enter all your shipping origin address which is um, also if you have a, a, a digital product um, you're not shipping this uh, this product then you still need to have your address and everything for um, just for uh, billing purposes and all that kind of stuff so make sure you type it in here um, billing description so this is also something that will appear on the credit card statement of the people that actually buy your product. So make sure you put all that stuff in there so that they see on their credit card statement what they're actually bought with um, with their credit card. You can also use this as a bump product. And if it's, if it's a physical product, then um, you wanna maybe set this as a maximum inventory so that once um, it's sold out that it will actually be sold out. It will actually say that it is sold out. But as this is a physical product, then we don't need actually the product inventory limit. Then once this is done, click save and next. Then if you have like a different product variations, so if you have maybe a course that is like basic, then you have like the premium or then you have the course plus coaching. So you can create different course variations right here, but we're gonna keep it simple um, and turn this off. So let's move on without product variations. And then you can decide on having a fulfillment email that will be automatically sent out by ClickFunnels when somebody purchases your product. So we can turn this on right here and then you can um, kind of basically give this product with, um, with this email that you create. So you can type in something like, here's um, your access to my YouTube masterclass. And then you can put in a link right then you can put in a link right here in the email um, leading people to or giving them uh, leading people to your Kajabi to your Teachable or even to ClickFunnels where you actually host your course or where you have your product or whatever you are delivering actually so you can either do it that way or what you can also do um, actually here you have to thank you page um, if, if you choose none right here then it just goes back goes to the next step so it goes to order confirmation right here so that's how I'm gonna leave it for this uh, this funnel right here so then we click save and next and then we can also trigger a follow-up action which is another way you can deliver your product so what you can also do is turn this on and then go to like active campaign which is the email um, automation software that we have integrated and then we can add it to a list or to add it to a specific automation or add it to a tag that will trigger something in our email automation and um, and then it will automatically send out the course details or deliver whatever product we are selling through that email marketing software so you don't have to worry about any delivery op um, delivery problems with ClickFunnels you can do everything inside of your active campaign or your other email marketing software so there are different ways on how you can deliver your product um, it really depends on, on if it's a physical product if it's a course if it's a membership site so um, yeah, so depending on what you are selling, you have to change up your delivery method. Then click on save and next. And then it asks us, it asks you if it's a physical product, um, then you, you obviously have to deliver it a bit differently, but um, this isn't a physical product. So let's just turn this off and click on save and next. And then we get to the summary. Um, so you can check if everything is correct right here. Obviously, there's a couple of things that I haven't filled out right now for uh, because it's just uh, a tutorial right here. So once everything is done, we can click on return to product list on the bottom right. And then you see that on the product page right here, you see a new product. And when now when you go back to overview and you actually go and 
Let's visit this page. When you click here, you can always check the preview of this page. Then you see now this item is already set up and it's YouTube Masterclass, which is the name we have given here. They can enter their details right here. And then when they click on complete order, they uh, will be charged $199 to their credit card and it will go through your Stripe to your bank account. So that's basically how you can set up your product inside of ClickFunnels and basically cr create the, the order form. Yeah.